Okay, now we do the synthetic division of polynomials. So let's do the same example which we have done using the division so that you can see that what is the difference, how much time you can save. So I will take the same, fact, uh, same example. So our task was to factorize 6x cubed minus 5x square minus 4x plus 3 when one factor was known and which was x minus 1. So x minus 1 is a factor. In synthetic division, we only use the coefficients of this polynomial and this number, which is the part of the factor. So we use this. How we do that? First put the coefficients of this polynomial with a little bit of distance so that we can easily do the synthetic division. And then we put one outside, this one. If x plus 1 is a factor, then we put minus 1 there. We put minus 1. If x minus 2 is a factor, we put 2 there. If x plus 2 is a factor, we put minus 2 there. So x minus 1 is a factor, so we put 1, we put one here. So now what we do is, we put a line and we keep some distance here so we can write numbers. So we bring first number straight away down, 6. Then we multiply this 1 with this 6, we multiply it and we put it there. So 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. So we put 6 under this minus 5. Now we add these two, we don't subtract here, we add these two, so minus 5 and 6, when added together, we get 1, so we put 1 here. Now again what we do, we multiply this 1 with this 1 and we put at a diagonal position, this is a diagonal position. So 1 multiplied by 1 is? 1. Then we add these two. We are adding here. Then we add these two. We are not subtracting. This is the mistake sometimes students do. So minus 4, 1, when added, we get minus 3. Now again, multiply this 1 with minus 3 and put it here. So it will be minus 3. Now add again. And 3 minus 3 is 0. And this is what was expected. Because if x minus 1 is a factor, then the remainder should be 0. This is the remainder. So now what we did is, instead of, I was explaining, so there I was a little slow. When you will do this, you will do very quickly. So you save a lot of time. You don't have to write this x, 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 x again and again. You simply use the coefficient and divide these two polynomials. So what is the result? What is the degree of the polynomials? As I already explained, x3 was the degree and we were dividing with a degree of 1. So what will be the degree of the result? 2. So now we bring these are the coefficient of our quotient polynomial. Remember the quotient? which we get when we divide two numbers, we get the quotient. So these are the coefficient of our quotient polynomial with one less degree. So instead of three, so this six is the coefficient of x square. Six x square. This is the coefficient of x plus x because it's one. And this is the constant term minus three. So this is the second factor of the polynomial. So it means the polynomial, original polynomial can be written as equals, I'm not writing that again, can be written as 6x square plus x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 1. And this is the same result which we got 
in the previous example because we did the same example using the synthetic division instead of division so this is called synthetic division so we will do one more example so in this example there will be a missing term so i just put in the title that this is a missing term so you can refer back if you need so how to handle missing term so we have a question that factorize x cube minus 4x square minus 25 where x minus 5 is a factor so this is given that x minus 5 is a factor so now using the synthetic division so what we do here is we just write the coefficients of first polynomial here which is 1 minus 4 and you note know that there is no x term here we have x cube, we have x square, but no x term. So we cannot ignore this fact. When, when doing synthetic division, if some term is missing, the missing term means that this term has a degree of 3, this term has a degree of 2. So there must be a degree of 1 term, because this is the definition of the polynomial. But we don't have 1 term. Is It is okay, but we have to take account for that so how we do that we put 0 for that missing term here and then we put the minus 25 of the constant term so if the term is missing we put 0 so only this is the difference otherwise everything is same so this is x minus 5 so we should put 5 here so now what we do we bring first number straight away down and then we multiply this 5 with 1 and we put here so 5 into 1 is 5 then we add these two numbers we don't subtract so it will be 1 here then again we multiply this 5 with this 1 and put it there so we put 5 here and we add 5 and 0 we get 5 again do the same thing we put this 5 here multiply this 5 with 5 and put it there 25 now we add these two and we get 0 so z this 0 confirms that we have done the right thing we have done the correct procedure because if this is a factor then we should get 0 remainder so now our resultant polynomial is of what degree it is of degree 2 because we are dividing a degree 3 polynomial with a degree 1 polynomial so our resultant is x square so this is the coefficient of x square so x square has a coefficient of 1 this is the x term so plus x and this is the constant term plus 5 so this is the second factor of this polynomial so this polynomial can be written as a factor of this and x minus 5 so this is very simple this was just one a little tip that if some term is missing so how you handle that term so now you know many methods of factorizing polynomials you can take common you can use the AC method you can use any of the mathematical identity a plus b whole square a minus b whole square or a square minus b square if there are two terms if there are four terms you can do grouping of two terms together then the grouping of two terms together and then you find the poly, uh, define the factors so now you know many methods of factorization so i am confident that you will be able to factorize any type of polynomial two three four whatever terms are and whatever is the situation you will find a way to factorize it if there are perfect square first look for the perfect square if there is a perfect square look for that if there is a mathematical identity look for that if not then use the ac method if there are four terms just group two together and the other two together try to find out what is common if one factor is given you just do the division or synthetic division and find the second term 
and then on the second term try to factorize it again whether you are able to factorize it or not so in this way for example if we are able to factorize this term so we can further i'm not checking this i'm just saying that if we can able to use any of the method like ac method or the any of the identity method so if we can do that we will do that and then we will have three factors if not just leave it there so now you you know you know many ways to factorize a polynomial it is a very important skill and we will be using this in solving algebraic equations especially the quadratic equations because these were just the expressions these were the polynomial expressions these were not the equations but we can use the same skill to solve equations